to go out to our vice president who's running for president. I have heard all over social media about, excuse me if I say anything wrong, immigrants getting um, loans, money. It was hard for me to believe. It was just extremely hard for me to believe. I've been in business such a long time. Back in 2019, I purchased my first food truck. It cost me over $25,000. I paid it cash money. I worked hard to pay for this truck. I'm now selling it because I'm just going to, I'm doing other things, but I'm selling it. I had a guy come to look at purchasing my vehicle my food truck and he explained to me he's an illegal immigrant he has no credit he has no money in the bank but he showed me his paperwork that he will receive funds to purchase my food truck I'm thankful that he's buying it but I'm hurt that I work so hard to pay cash for my food truck. I have good credit, can't even get a business loan because of color of my skin. I have veterans in my family, I'm a veteran. I've been self-employed for so long. But somebody, please tell me, how do I work so hard to have somebody who comes to this country not long no credit and he shows me paperwork where they'll be funding him money to buy my food truck and when i talked to the bank they told me um usually they have to go straight to a dealership because no, I'm, a, I'm a private sale but for special circumstances they're going to you know they allow it but i need my president to tell me why well, I worked so hard all these years, all these decades. Couldn't get a business loan, but I bust my ass to get the money to create my business. And we got immigrants coming here. And they're getting money. Yes, they are. Money! <laughs> We're doing nothing but just being here. It's yeah. not right, and I want answers. <laughs> I'm right there with you, baby girl. I want answers too, because it's not right. And it's getting to the point where it's, it's starting to be like, all right, are y'all starting to wake up now? Because more and more, we're starting to see more videos, more evidence of things of this nature is coming out. And this is all from the Biden and Harris administration. Remember that. This is not just the Biden administration. It's Biden and Harris. They in this together. And she's on record saying that she support Joe Biden and everything he does. So with that being said, all these illegal immigrants coming inside here, getting all these resources, getting all this funding, getting house placements. This is all on her. But this is the same person that y'all caper for. People like Stephen A. Smith. Now you got Ricky Smiley, Steve Harvey in the mix. Everybody y'all caping for Kamala Harris. Talking about all we need. Uh, a black woman inside here because she's AKA and she can get inaugurated by uh, uh, what do you call it? A, a Delta. All this sorority Greek. This stuff don't really have nothing to do with how they're going to be able to, to help us as far as our, our lives personally. But all he going off is, is symbolism. No one really cares about that no more. All right. There was a time when a lot of people cared about that, but now it's hard for people to put their foods on the table. Like it's hard for people to buy groceries. It's hard for people to pay their bills. It's hard for people to do a lot of stuff, but you got a lot of people coming inside this country who getting all these resources and they ain't even putting no type of work inside here and it's getting it for free. So now people are starting to wake up and see that and they're like, all right, all that symbolism stuff, it may have been cool back then, but right now, symbolism 
<laughs> it ain't putting enough food on the table. You know, identity politics, it ain't paying the bills. So people are starting to wake up to this stuff. And I feel bad for baby girl because she's absolutely right. And it's not just her, it's, it's so many more Americans going through the same type of stuff. I know personally people who go through it, you know, shoot, I might say that I suffer from this too. I, I think in some shape or form, all of us, all, all Americans, but whatever, what bracket in life or, or wherever you at, maybe in life, we all feel the effects of all this stuff. So that's why I said, y'all need to start voting diligently and start just voting off uh, emotions and identity because I'm not saying that y'all need to just be voting Republican because I'm on record saying that I am an independent, but I am going to vote Republican this year because... Donald Trump is on, <laughs> he already got four years experience of putting this country back on the map. So if he can do it then, then I believe he can do it again. And they say that that's all we got. That's the, what the Democrats say, everybody will say that's all we got. Well, shoot, if it comes between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, then I look at it and it, he's all we got. So <laughs> it is what it is. But that's all I got for now, guys. Let me know what y'all think. Drop your comments down below. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.